I have my serrano, uh, serrano pepper. I couldn't find jalapeno, so I grabbed the last bag of serrano. And then I put my mushroom in here and I'm gonna add water to it. Give it a little, a uh, little water, and then heat it up, and then cook the mushroom. Then I'm gonna cut a little sirloin beef and uh, put, put it in there. Okay, I'm gonna get the cooked mushroom out of here. I'm going to put the mushroom in. It's cooked already. I'm going to mix the mushroom into the fried rice. I should have diced it, but it's okay. And now I made some raw beef. It's, uh, what is it? And then I'm going to stick it in the microwave and heat it up and cook it. Well done. So there we go. And the mushrooms in there. There you go. See mushroom, shrimp. These are the mushrooms. These are the shrimps. Cilantro, onion, everything is in there. The flavor is just, just right. So I can still have fried rice. Eating good in the neighborhood. Okay, the last step is to put the beef. I cook well done. Flavor it. Season it. Flavor it. Get all that juice. There we go. So I throw everything in the trash can. And there you go. Mix it up. You can still have good fried rice. Not frying using a frying pan. Try using a microwave. So there you go. That's how it looks. I would put Chinese uh, pork sausage in there and Chinese sausage, but I don't have, I didn't buy it. So there you go. Well, uh, let me add a little more soy sauce. The soy sauce is not too thick. I like more flavor. I love to eat Asian food. It fills me up more than American food. I miss breakfast, so this is my breakfast and lunch, my brunch.
spicy. Good. Ever since I was a little girl, I always make my fried rice festive. I put everything in it, so, but tasty, you know, and a lot of powerful flavor. Just perfect. Not too salty, not too sweet, and not too um, bland. Turn out good. I'm not complaining about it. It's good. I'm still tired. I have a long day to go. I go to work. So good. I get full off eating off fried rice and then eating anything greasy and oily. And my fried rice has no oil, no grease. I used to like to put butter in, give it a little buttery flavor. But if I'm frying it, then it's crispy. I don't like it soggy. Mm. The flavor is like not overpowering, but it's just like a kick in the balls or The flavor is like punching you in the face. That's how good it is. And I, when I have the um, oyster sauce, I put it in there and fry it up and mix it up and season the, the beef or the shrimp with the um, oyster sauce. Mm. I'm a big eater. My 
My first time making fried rice was like when I was six years old. I make fried rice. I experiment on making fried rice. Nobody ever taught me how to make fried rice. Nobody ever showed me how to cook. I just went in the kitchen and did it myself. Be independent. Buy my own ingredients and have the material put in my fridge. I don't have to wait in line, wait forever, chop, dice, get everything prepared the night before. And when I'm in a rush, just throw everything at one time, season it, flavor it, boil it, mix it, marinate it. The next day, it's ready, ready to be heated up and cooked. And I'll be on time to go wherever I need to go. I don't have to go to the restaurant. I don't have to go depend on nobody, but depend on myself because I already have everything set up, ready to cook, ready to eat, and ready to go. I almost finished the whole entire thing. But since I have my own place, for temporary, I'm gonna do everything frugal. I'm just gonna scoot it all on one side. I was supposed to eat one third of it, but I ate half. But I'll make the other two halves, split it like this. If 
from diabetic, I split it into another half like this. Like this. Move this over. So six, put it into four. Put it into four corner. And eat this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for dinner, and this is for supper. But since that won't be enough, so I just put it back into two, split it in half. And I'll eat this for brunch tomorrow if I wake up late. I'll have this for brunch and this for um, dinner after work. So, I'll you know, put this back in the refrigerator, eat little portion can serve but it's so delicious thank you for joining me so I have saved up my orange juice from the day at the motel room I'll drink a little portion for breakfast and then some when I come up before I leave for brunch and then when I come home from work that's my dinner <laughs> So I don't have to go in and out too many times. And if they don't see me for breakfast tomorrow, the other half right here is my breakfast. Because <laughs> I tend to sleep, um, if I don't sleep early, then I'll, um, I'll wake up late. I can't wake up early. So I'd rather stay awake until six o'clock after I get home from work at midnight, I was lay and watch TV until morning on my cell phone. I don't use their electricity or their cell phone, uh, their TV, because I like to watch my YouTube on my TV. So, it doesn't cost that much electricity because it's my small cell phone. And I'll keep myself awake until breakfast time and then I'll grab whatever I need and I'll bring it into my room because I don't want to sit out there and eat too much because people coughing and sneezing or whatever and it's COVID time so I don't want to be inhaling whatever that's um, necessary, that's unhealthy, that's a virus. You know, so I'd rather bring my food in to my room and I eat privately by myself. I'm not being selfish, but I'm just being cautious. I'm a very cautious person. I like to be perfect, a perfectionist, so. Um, yep. So I'm gonna, let me see. And so I should sleep a little longer and set my alarm. And once it's uh, time, I go to the bank. So yesterday I was late and I didn't know that I was late. So I didn't know I had an appointment at 1.30. I thought it was 2 o'clock. So that today, I'm going to be even earlier. So I'll sleep for one hour, get ready. Uh, no, two hours. I'll sleep for two hours get ready and then head to the bank because it's just down the street so even if it's down the street I get lazy <laughs> I get lazy to go even Publix is down the street but I get lazy to go down to Publix so oh stretch in my exercise I don't like the bed because the bed is hard and stiff if I had more time, I rent the room for a whole entire month, which I only rent this room for two weeks or three weeks now. But I think this is the third week. But if I had If I had knew that they would let me rent the room for one whole entire month, then I would have 
I cushioned my bed the first night I was here, but I went to my storage and get my blankets and cushion it. The bed just makes me uncomfortable. I'm, the pillow is good, but it's just a bed. It's uncomfortable. I don't like to be uncomfortable sleeping. I spoil myself when I sleep. I have to cushion it thick. So I'll go ahead and put my meat away, wash my cutting board, and go smoke a cigarette and then come back to sleep.